And here I am on my birthday at a wonderful rental apartment. And I go into the into this incredible, beautiful bathroom. And I'm wondering, do I want something like this? Is this what really is important for me to have in my life? And I've been thinking about that. And then I come downstairs and walk into a room where I see what really is important. People, my family, they are doing things, they're talking, they're celebrating, they're loving. <laughs> this is what I want to communicate. That yeah, it's important to take care of yourself. It's also important to take care of your family and others who are close to you. But the higher level of human value is taking care of other people in need anywhere in the world and the planet itself. This is what makes us a civilization. That's what I'm writing about. That's what I'm advocating. That's what I'm hoping. Belinda has something she would like to say. Okay, well, this is a roast, right? This is a roast. <laughs> and this is for the ex-wife came. Yes. The beloved ex-wife. Uh oh. Oh I was just talking to his current wife. <laughs> She's ready. She says. <laughs> well, we both kind of were debating what we're in the green. If we had three words to describe Ken, what would they be? And um, I knew what mine were. <laughs> she then, she came up with hers. He, she says that he's creative, he's a problem solver, and he's a global citizen. Okay. That's not the first thing I said. What? That's not the first thing I said. Not all you said either. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And I, and I see Ken as definitely intentional, and I think it's, I am big into having intention. You don't have to reach the goal, but you have to be on the right road to and have an intention. And I find him this, uh, determined and persistent above all. Right. Yes. And of course, that's how he's trying to make the world a better place. And that's a pretty neat thing to do. Um, and he started out early in life trying to change the world or make it a better place. And I, my favorite story actually about, is about, uh, about Ken is when his mother went to shop in New York and uh, she left little Kenny with a neighbor, Johnny, what's her name? Come on. Finance. No, not, uh, anyway, Tommy. Lang, Tommy Lang. Tommy Lang, yes, yes. <coughs> and uh, so, uh, and Tommy Lang got all of little Kenny's favorite foods to serve him at lunch, and she ate, he ate the peanut butter and the jelly sandwich or whatever, and then it came to dessert, and it was, I think it was chocolate pudding, wasn't it? Was. it? And no, he, looked at it. It. Sorry. he looked at it, and, and he just got sadder and sadder, and, and then he started crying. He wanted a better world in the pudding. And Tommy said, and Tommy said what's, what's, what's wrong, Kenny? I got your favorite. I got your favorite. I asked your mom, and, and she said it was chocolate pudding. He said, yeah. But it doesn't have in it. <laughs> <laughs> by Toni Morrison. Oh. I tore from a limb fruit that had lost its green. My hands were warmed by the heat of an apple, fire red and humming. I bit sweet power to the core. How can I say what it was like? The taste. The taste undid my eyes and led me far from the gardens planted for a child to wilderness deeper than my master's call. Now these cool hands guide what they once caressed. Lips forget what they have kissed. My eyes now pool their light, better the summit to see. I would do it all over again, be the harbor and set the sail, lose the breeze and harness the gale, cherish the harvest of what I've been, better the summit to scale, better the summit to be. Uh, Grandpa, now, a person of wisdom, knowledge, and has had a life full of various experiences. You've been there for me during my hardest times, dealing with mental health, transferring schools, and even bullying. I just want to thank you with giving you this poem. A tree, strong as can be, as wise as mother nature, and full of hope and innovation. 
with branches as long as the horizon, giving us guidance and love, with roots being engulfed by the soil, making their mark. The tree stands tall, having bright colored leaves, resembling his family. This is he, this is Grandpa. Aww. Aww. And I guess this comes more from my mom than my father, because you're right, he, she did, she was the one who said, whatever you do, do good. And it was dad who said, whatever you do, do it well. That's the business person. Um, but it's, it truly is the history of humankind that all the religions say, be compassionate, be caring. I should do it. Do something that's good for people. And that's what I think we are here for. And that's what I think we can do. And I just urge us, everybody, everybody in the world, to step up and do more. Because God knows, we know, everybody knows, things aren't going right now. We need stronger help by people. We need more caring. And right now my joy is, I know you all are. I know you all will be. I know you all will be promoters of this. And I look at the, the ones here who are the inheritors of our earth. And I really do have confidence.